Sure, let her in. What difference does it make? You haven't sent me a single person that can cure me yet, so what's the point? Who are you? And I suppose you have an idea of how to cure this frost that's taken over my body. <laughs> yeah, I bet. Do what you will. Leave us. Let her have her chance. So, what kind of alchemist's rabble are we trying this time? Defrosting potion? Fire salts? I hate to burst your bubble, witch, but I've tried those already, and not a single hint of improvement to my condition. What do you mean, you'll see? Tell me, at once. I've seen the finest doctors in the country, all who have failed to cure me, and as some last-ditch effort the Chancellor sends some... witch he finds in the furthest reach of the woods, a place not even I have surveyed, to try and see if anything could possibly work. So drop the mysterious act, and do whatever you want to do so I can send you away, like the others. What do you mean already working? My arm? What about... Uh, I, I... I don't believe this. I'm actually in disbelief. How did you manage to do that when you haven't even started conjuring anything yet? Well, I'm... I'm sure it was just a lucky break. I've been feeling pretty good today anyways, so... Brushing off a little ice is pretty far from difficult. Well... Go ahead. Do whatever witchcraft you're going to do. How did it happen? What? <laughs> you can't tell with your witchy mind-reading powers? <sighs> Fine. I'll tell you. It was at the outset of this horrible war with the Frost Druids. So it turns out not all Druids are nice, friendly protectors of nature, as I'm sure you're aware. Anyways. To everyone's surprise, they marched on my kingdom, plowing right through the Sulphur Mountain Range, driving through unbreathable air and volcanic lava flows, which nobody thought was even remotely possible. Needless to say, we were caught completely by surprise. We drove all the way inland to the capital in no more than a day. For long, we caught wind of what was transpiring, and the vanguard was able to regroup, push them back. But not before an arch wizard got all the way to the castle. He found me and my princess, my beloved princess, to whom I was betrothed. Despite my best efforts, she was taken from me. The arch wizard turned to me and muttered some incoherent spell. In the blink of an eye, a frostbolt pierced my heart, leaving me just about frozen solid like this. <laughs> it's embarrassing, really, to be reduced to such a state. I would have thought the wizard would have me killed, but... Maybe it's more of a drain on our morale and resources to have a crippled leader laid in bed, powerless to fight back. Are you content to simply sit there and gawk at my story without brewing a potion or chanting a spell of some sort? <sighs> Fraud of a witch. What a surprise. What? No, no spellbook I've ever read instructs the caster to have the other person say the casting words. Fine, I'll keep talking, but I'm warning you, I'm growing tired of this 
charade. More about the princess. How cruel can you be, witch? Can't you see I'm ruined enough over the loss of my one true love? Does it please you to open up wounds I've carefully hid from the world? One in a million. There will never be another like her. What she had, the world only offers up once in a lifetime. We met at a spellcasting school for promising young magicians, and we became close friends very quickly. I remember one day I was late to school running up the hill. I tripped and fell and gave myself a nasty gash on my leg. She saw me and rushed over to help. She began to cast a healing spell on me, telling me, Don't worry, I've got you. I've got... Yes, kind of like that. A lot like that, actually. That's almost identical to how she did it. All right, stop, you're creeping me out. Okay, well, maybe keep going a little bit. That seems to have done something, just a little bit. Are you doing this just to tease me? Uh, what do you mean that wasn't meant to fix anything? Clearly the ice started to crack and thaw. Remembering? What makes you say that? How could that be better than a normal healing spell? <sighs> Alright. It's true that the ice has receded since you've been here. <sighs> she was lovely. Everything I did was for her. Just wanted her to be happy. Oh, she was gorgeous. Picture of beauty. Gorgeous eyes. Beautiful hair. Incredible, radiant skin. Now that I think about it, quite similar to yours. The colors and the textures are all just about the same. Is this another trick of yours? To make me feel and think strange things? Well, this is more than just a fluke, it appears. So sorry for being so tightly strung. Thinking about losing everything I care deeply for is treating me more brutally than I would have thought. The wounds are still very fresh. Okay. I'll try. Oh, it's not a question of how much I loved her. It was how much could I love her. It feels like the depths of how much love I could have for her grew deeper and deeper as time went on. It surprised me constantly. Ow! <sighs> Thank you. That feels better. I'm sure I won't be able to love anyone the way that I loved her. It's my most firmly held belief that it was either going to be us together until the end, or that the end would come for me early. If my condition doesn't change sometime soon, then it seems the latter is going to be my fate. The doctor has been keeping an eye on me, and every day my body temperature grows colder and colder. Reaching closer to the lowest it can be before my body gives out on me. If only I knew where she was. If she was safe and could live out her life comfortably, then I could die happy even if I couldn't be with her. 
No, the last time I saw her, she was being carted off by the druids, somewhere far away as a prisoner of war, I can only imagine. But I try not to imagine what could have befallen her. It makes me far too sad. Ah! Mm. Mm-hmm. Ah, oh, it's a sharp pain right here in my chest. Oh, no, it just started all of a sudden when the ice started to break off. Ah, oh, but whatever you're doing there makes it subside for a while. Ah, oh, where did you learn magic, my lady? It feels so... familiar, and... Nostalgic, even. What's wrong? Is, is there something in your throat? Why can't you speak? You were speaking fine earlier. Oh, no. N no need to apologize. I'm just worried for you, that's all. Are you sure you're okay? You look like you're not in good health. Brush your hair aside. Let me see your eyes to make sure you're not losing consciousness. Uh, I can move my arm just enough to cast a healing spell if you need it. <clears throat> oh, thank you. I'm okay. <laughs> oh, I, I think you dropped something. How did... Where... Where did you find that locket? It, well, say something. Open it up for me. I need to see what's inside it. Open that locket at once, I beg you. Uh, to, uh, what in oblivion was that? It looked like you... Bent down to try and grab it, and as, as soon as you got close, a bolt of lightning? Is, is that what it was? It struck your hand. Oh, and it was so cold all of a sudden. Shouldn't lightning spells be hot? No. I don't think you're trying to trick me. There's clearly something foul happening here, and it involves you as well. If only my arm would come loose just a little bit more, I could reach it. Oh, damn. What should we do? Can we do that thing we were doing before, where it slowly thawed out the ice? Will that still work? What was it that was making the ice thaw? Was, was it remembering what happened to me? Can't say. Of course. Whatever foul wizardry is at work here must have gagged you so you can't give me any clues as to how to break this blasted curse. Well, let's give it a try. Maybe if I try to remember the princess more. Do I need to torture myself with thoughts of her? Is that it? You, you can't say anything, I know, but your eyes clearly lit up when I said that, so it's worth a try, right? Her warm smile, the way she would embrace me after we had been apart for a while, like a warm, motherly presence reminding me everything would be okay. Oh, it's working! <clears throat> Just a little bit further. <clears throat> ah! Oh. <clears throat> oh! Yes, thank you. That's better. Ah, a little more now. My arm is almost free. The way she would run her fingers along my neck. 
Oh, and the way she would kiss my forehead lovingly when I was feeling tired and worn out. Oh. To hear the words I love you again from her lips. Yeah. Oh. No, no need to speak. You'll only hurt yourself further. Oh. Is that it? Did that do it? Got it. It is. The locket. One of the lockets we exchanged when we declared our intention to marry. Where did you find it, my lady? No. I guess that's the wrong question, isn't it? I should be asking, how did you manage to keep it all this time? My love. There you are. The picture of beauty. Just as you always were. How could I not see you through that curse, my love? Please, kiss me. Can't wait another second. You did it. Uh, I can feel the fire returning to my heart. <laughs> Finally. It burns strong again. And I owe it all to you, my beautiful angel. How, how did you manage to escape and find me? I must know every detail. What happened after they carried you off? Did they hurt you? Did they do anything to you? Uh, right. <laughs> Sorry. I'm just a little frazzled still. Go ahead. They took you that far away? All the way to the border? My god. What did they do once you got there? So that was when the Arch Wizard laid that horrible curse on you and changed you into a haggard old witch. Oh, that's awful. Once I get my hands on that wizard, I swear I'll... Ow. Yeah, you're right. I should take it easy just a bit longer. Anyways, go on, please. What happened after he cursed you? I see. I'm sure he saw that he could make use of your magical prowess, but his army needs him for their push on the capital, so he must have had to go back. What happened when he handed you over to his men? How far did they bring you into their lands? Oh, thank God. If it wasn't sundown, they could have taken you so far into their lands that you never would have gotten out. So did you slip away into the night? Was that how you made your escape? You must have been terrified. I'm so sorry that happened to you. I'm glad to see that you're okay at least. So, how did you find your way back here? Hmm. What a nasty curse curse must have been to keep us apart, so no wonder I couldn't recognize you. That must have been what made it impossible for you to find your way back to me on your own. Exactly. So how did you get here in the end? <laughs> I can't believe our luck. 
the Chancellor just happens to bring you of all people when I tell him to scour the land for anyone that might break my curse. <sighs> Kiss me again, my love. I'm overwhelmed with joy at the thought of being together with you again. <sighs> I promise I'll never let anything happen to you again. I swear. I'll get as strong as anyone else in the world. No, stronger. So I can keep you safe. Forever. Well, it's become more of a stalemate recently. I know we can't keep up this war of attrition much longer, but at least they aren't able to press up to the castle anymore. The Knight's Council has pushed them back about as far as they can go. But I think the knowledge that their future king and queen are back in action will give them the morale and the courage they need to push them back to the border. Mm. We can definitely win this. Now. Let's go make sure that everyone knows we're back, and make plans to finish this fight. Once this is all over, I want to use our victory to launch our rule together, marry you. Will you let me do that? Will you join me, and rule together with me? <laughs> <laughs>